Hi there, Michelle with Practice Servings. I was just starting to decorate my tree. I got my lights on it, and I usually like adding in this mesh ribbon, and I thought not everybody maybe knows how to do this. I don't even know that I know how to do it correctly, but I can show you how I do it. So why don't you hop on, say hi. You'll see the initial part of my tree being lit. Um, and it has a lot to a long way to go. I have a lot of decorating to do. My house is a mess because everything's all over. But I'm excited to get Christmas decorating. Let's get going. Let me show you. Okay, so this is the mesh that I use um, that I'm using this year. This is the weather proof. This is the weatherproof. It doesn't have to be that kind, but this is in the Hobby Lobby. This is the Christmas department, so you get it at 50% off. Um, and this is 10 inches wide. Okay, oh, I didn't flip my camera. I, I didn't think you'd have to read. Hi, hi, Kathy, hi, Mary. And this is all I do. Like I said, I don't know that I do it the same way as everybody else, but this is the way I do it. So I've got a big roll of this twist tie. I got this too at Hobby Lobby. I've got several of them. I always run out of twist ties. Um, so I like buying this. I don't know, this must have been in the Christmas section too, seeing it's red. I don't even know where I got it, but I'm just gonna cut a bunch of these. It's just like, like your twist for on bread. I don't know where you get that otherwise. If you don't have, if you can't find these, pipe cleaners would work just fine. Um, they would work perfectly fine. String probably would work fine. It just takes a little bit more, but all right, we'll just cut a bunch of them. I already got a start on this one. This was at the end. So all I do is I just gather up and that, this is the end. That'll be stuck into the tree so you won't see it. And then about every foot I do it and I try gathering it the same way so that you always got that punched up part on top there and then I'll put the twist tie underneath it. You can play so much with your tree to make whatever all of this disappear as you're doing it. Um, but so that's, and it's so, it's so quick and easy. And yeah, I do about a foot, maybe a little more. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, trees aren't perfect. Um, although my tree is pretty perfect this year. No, it's not. All right, and now let's just do this one yet. And then I got enough here for now. So I don't need to do the whole thing on for you. You're doing decorating? Oh, you're done decorating, Susan. I'm jealous. It's exhausting. I love doing it, but it's exhausting. And it's even worse taking it back down. I made bows with three ornaments in the middle to tuck into the big holes in the tree. Perfect. You know, I saw somebody the other day too. I, it might've been the same show I saw about the, the trees. If you have a fake tree, and you got your big spaces that you just don't know how to cover anymore, you get that fake garland and you like spread that apart and you tuck that in and it like makes those spaces go away. So that was another tip that I had the other day from seeing that. You're through decorating, yeah, I'm behind. It's only the, they're still three weeks. All right, let's get, Look at, so look at how much I already had done, just in this little bit of time that I sat here with you, talking. Okay, that's how much we have done. So I hope you're gonna be able to see the tree. Let's, let's turn it and see what we can find. And I might even raise you guys up a little bit. Oh, I maybe don't have to, let's see. All right, so this is all I do. So I am gonna start at the top. I have my footstool over there, but I don't wanna get that out right now because I don't wanna fall on here um, from Wisconsin. Oh, how many of you? Well, Deb, my first time, um, first time live, awesome. All right, yeah, poinsettias, I do stick fake flowers in here too sometimes, so. I said, there's so much to do. <laughs> there's so much to do with it. But we'll do baby steps. All right, so all I do now is, so 
I'll just start in here and I tuck that end in that you don't see and I just tuck it in like that. Let's get this over here. Can you, can you see what I'm doing? Just wait. Let me tip you up. There you go. And all I'm doing is tucking in wherever I did those ties. That's what I'm tucking in. And there's no rhyme or reason on what, let's see, this one has to get in here. Shift your lights if you have to. And I'm not going to go all the way around the tree. I'm just going to go up in here, but then we'll work our way back. I should go around the tree though, shouldn't I? And then just keep tucking in the spots that you tied up. And just find a place to tuck it, and then I'll show you close up. So this is the last one I have done. But look at how much of the roll I have left. Can you see that? Let me just, all right, I'll turn the light on now. You might be able to see that better. Let me just turn the light on. All right, and we'll take you off of here. Okay. So, basically, and I'll play with this. I, I know it's not exactly how I want it, but that's how I do it. I just tuck in those areas. And now, after I'm done with this, that's when I start putting on a lot of ornaments. And, you know, the ornaments are all going to go over the top of that. But it's so easy. 